Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Gary. Uh, this is Mark Miller. I'm here to talk to you about building high velocity teams with secure shared credentials. Uh, before I get started, I have to state that uh, this is all my opinion and my thoughts alone. And in no way does this talk represent the views of NASA or my employer. So who am I? I am a Linux systems guy. I have been working in IT since 1999. I started as an intern and have worked from there. Primarily the work that I do is related to Linux system support and keeping systems online. Um, I keep the lights on, I keep the systems patched, I keep everything running and put out some fires when problems occur. I have done some coding support, but mostly the work that I do is about keeping systems running. I like to think of myself as an IT janitor because most of the time the work that I do is in the background, but it keeps everything running smoothly. Um, on a personal note, I uh, am an audiobook addict uh, with everything going on in the world. I have been working from home like most people. Uh, I apologize but I don't miss my commute. Uh, I do miss my audiobook time though. Um, also, I am a habitual over explainer. I am exactly the type of person who gets asked a simple question and then a few minutes later, I'm scribbling stuff on the whiteboard and I turn around to find everybody's eyes glazed over because I've just gone too far. So with that stated, let's get started. So uh, I started, in the password management space by having a need to share passwords in an organization. And all of that comes with it, a need to share passwords, to share all sorts of secure information like API keys or SSH keys or uh, key pairs, that kind of thing. Many times an organization will even need to share things like encrypted, notes or documentation. Sometimes the documentation will even have the credentials inside. And it can be a challenge when you are trying to share this kind of information in a secure but still efficient manner. So ultimately, what ends up happening is you have a need for some level of organization of all of this kind of information. And it needs to be holistic. So. Ultimately, I'm here to talk about using a password manager and how that can make your team or operation more efficient. Passwords are here to stay. They are not going anywhere. There are just too many service accounts or API keys or, or other secure credentials that need to be shared within an organization in order to keep that organization operational. So what ends up happening is, you need to document your passwords, but you also need to document your processes and you need to document the procedures that sometimes this documentation will, as I said, have the passwords stored in it, which can be a real problem because passwords will end up everywhere. You'll end up with passwords in users' home directories or in that Excel file that's on the file share somewhere or uh, just anywhere. And that can be a, a real problem to solve in and of itself. And by migrating to something like a password manager, like Bitwarden, you can really do an overhaul of the entire way that you're managing those sorts of credentials. And one of the big benefits there too, is that it gives you really excellent handoff. In the case that someone leaves your organization, you end up with an excellent way to, to transfer that information to another person in, in, in a system that really makes it efficient and fast to get everything that they need in order to have the transfer work well. So what sort of things a password manager can offer your team or organization? The best part is that it adds a process. Everybody who's in IT knows that you need processes for everything. and putting a process into your password management means that for your team, it becomes second nature. And everyone will simply start 
to put their passwords into the password manager in a coherent and organized fashion. And it can really improve that kind of transfer of information and knowledge. Because now when your team is involved in setting up and deploying or configuring, one of the first things that they're going to think to do is to put that information into the password manager. It really can improve the process. One of the benefits that I've found is that you can easily associate alternate credentials or uh, information with different host names. So instead of taking a password and passing it all the way up the chain from sandbox to dev to test to QA to staging to production, all of that, you end up with completely unique and different passwords that's easy to access and retrieve and manage all the way up the chain. Even better, by giving your team a central repository in the form of a password manager, you will end up stopping the process of saving those passwords all over the ones that are in their home directory or stored in that Excel spreadsheet or uh, stored in the documentation or what have you. It, it allows you to take it all and centralize it in one spot. Even better, sometimes you may find that passwords are stored in a browser. If you're like me, I use multiple browsers. And when you're relying on the browser to store your passwords, you may end up saying, oh, I can't use that in Firefox, I have to use it in Chrome because that's where I've stored the password or something like that. Once again, a centralized system for managing it gives you one spot everywhere. So for me, my journey into the use of something like Bitwarden and password management, in our organization, we had a tool called Crypt Vault, which was a good enough tool. It did the job of giving us a central spot to store some passwords. However, it was in-house built and a complete custom application. It was written in Cold Fusion. And probably 15 years ago, maybe older than that even. And we had essentially no insight into how it worked. The developer had long departed. We used the tool because we needed something, but it didn't have a whole lot of features in terms of convenience. It allowed us to store passwords. And that's essentially it. It was locked in to one system, one framework, like I said, called Fusion. And it had an associated encryption DLL that was written for a 32-bit code base. And we could not get that, co that code, that DLL, to compile for a 64-bit code base when the time came to migrate away from the Windows 2008 operating system during its end of life. So we needed something to replace that. So we started looking. And the sorts of things that we expected such a replacement tool to offer, we needed to be able to support multiple users. We needed everyone to be able to use it simultaneously. Many of the solutions we found allowed multiple users to have access to the tool, but it involved things like the password file being locked when one user was in it. And we really didn't want something like that. Uh, we needed a web UI. We needed something that mirrored our existing solution in such a way that the team did not have to experience so much change that they'd stop using the tool. We needed something that really reinforced the consistency of continuing to use the password manager for everything, or else we would fracture and then have to draw all that back in, which would be an even bigger project. We needed it to be easy to use and easy to share. We needed everything about it to be as simple as the current solution, which allowed everybody access to the passwords at bare minimum. And most important, because of customer requirements, we needed to store the data on site. We could have nothing in the cloud. So that eliminated lots of contenders because lots of the software out there for password management is emphasizing that it's in the cloud as a benefit. And for many people it is, but when you can't store any data in the cloud because of customer requirements, that can be a real negative.
the other major consideration for us was cost. And when migrating from what is a, essentially a free, free solution, despite the fact that it was maintained by my team, you you need something that doesn't break the bank in terms of convincing your management that it's something worthwhile. So many of the options we considered simply had too many deal breakers. The cloud option, like I mentioned, just threw out so many different tools. Uh, clouds offer convenience. They really do. By, by offloading the, the storage of your passwords to something like the cloud, it means that you no longer have to consider the security. You no longer have to consider the, the implementation or the management or any of that. But it doesn't give you control of your own local data. And for us, that was a major feature of Bitwarden. Um, we also considered rebuilding the tool in-house, but frankly, we didn't have the security experience and didn't have the coding expertise in order to pull something like that together. Our development team was already fully committed to all of their own regular projects and didn't need to take on yet another in-house project. Um, we also wanted something that was a little more operating system agnostic than our current environment, which was very Windows centric. We wanted to be able to use it on Linux if necessary. We have a, a, a wide Linux deployment. We also wanted to, we really wanted to simply not worry about what operating system it was running on. And again, cost was a major consideration. So rebuilding the application would have been expensive because it would have involved administrator time and it would have involved developer time. And we weren't really sure how much we could commit to that. So you will be shocked to hear, of course, we selected Bitwarden because Bitwarden met all of the requirements we needed. The web UI was fantastic. It allowed us to migrate the user base in such a way that everything worked in a very similar fashion. Even better, it allowed users to have their own personal vault and a shared organization vault that they could immediately have access to once we set them up with an account. Uh, we also had a lot of unexpected features that we weren't looking for. Like I said, the tool that we used before was very basic. Stuff that Bitwarden offered us was something like search, being able to instantly find our passwords, by one simple search, either related to the username or the host name or just notes about the, the, the credentials, proved to be incredibly useful in terms of making our large collection of stored credentials accessible to all of the users who are using it. We also have a password generator now. And on top of that, a passphrase generator. So not only can we easily and quickly generate the lengthy passwords that a service account requires with the large complexity requirements, we could also generate new passwords for users who needed them reset and, if necessary, generate passphrases that are easy to communicate over the phone when you are trying to send a one-time password reset to someone. It's so much simpler that way. We also got encrypted storage. So in the case where we need to store credentials in a document, we can store it directly there. It's fantastic that way. And then on top of all of that, we have a new management backend for managing all of these users in a way that we simply never had before. It proved to be incredibly convenient for controlling who has access to which passwords and how. So the migration process from our old tool to Bitwarden we had to do a custom database export using the existing environment to sort of uh, fudge together a CSV file. However, Bitwarden supports direct CSV import. They have a special format directly for organizations. And that format means that we could both export the data as necessary into one CSV file, import it directly into the organization-owned password file, and that meant that all users who were in the organization already had access to all of those passwords immediately upon deployment. So that really allowed us to rapidly deploy 
Bitwarden into our organization without much back and forth in terms of users having access and granting access and things like that. We, we really never look back at that point. We were eager to shut down the old operating system and software, and that was that. So for us, looking forward, we're really eager to make use of Bitwarden's new single sign-on enterprise integration. Our testing has shown that it works really well with Bitwarden and our single sign-on implementation, and it will allow us to fully cover any users and establish yet again another process for adding users, managing users, and controlling who has access. We're also considering whether or not organization devices like phones that are on site are eligible for using Bitwarden because that would allow someone who's, for example, working in a data center to be able to call up credentials that they need when they're trying to terminal into some sort of device. We're also considering expansion possibilities. Maybe there are other people within our organization who are interested in using something like Bitwarden, and maybe that is something that we can offer to them. So really, we're really excited about Bitwarden. We're hopeful for the future, and uh, I think using a password manager like Bitwarden can really help your team to be more efficient and more organized.